Hey friends, welcome back. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today y'all, I'm finally going to be giving my ugly bathroom a makeover. As you can see, the mirror is gone, the light fixture is gone. Y'all, I had footage of how it looked before, but um, I don't know what happened to it. So I must have accidentally deleted it, but I am going to go ahead and um, start taking everything off the walls i'm getting everything off this wall because i'm going to be doing the faux brick i'm so excited i love the faux brick i think it's absolutely beautiful and i decided to go ahead and put it here in my bathroom just to give it some character because right now it's just plain jane it's just i'm not loving my bathroom ever since we moved in here I just it just doesn't feel homey enough for me so I just decided to go ahead and just you know change some things out and make it more me make it more um, homey and that way I can just love my bathroom because I just absolutely hate my bathroom right now y'all so I'm gonna go ahead get everything off the walls all of the shelves the curtains the shelves all of that and we're gonna go ahead and start taping off for the faux brick now if you have never tried the faux brick um i will go ahead and go into detail i have gone into detail every time i've done it because i know a lot of y'all really like it and there has been some of y'all that like to recreate it so just in case you would like to recreate this look you can go ahead and follow the steps in this video but yeah y'all i'm gonna go ahead and play some music let y'all enjoy watching and i will come in here and there and explain to you what i'm doing I want to do it all with you by my side If you're in, meet me here tonight Be brave and come along, I'll be alright Promise we don't need no break lights We can travel the world, so just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next Since I'm going to be putting the shelves right back up in the same spot, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and keep these screws in. That way, after I do the um, the brick wall, I'll still have them intact and I know exactly where they're going to go because I have the um, little plastic things in there that um, go in the sheetrock and I didn't want to have to make new holes. So um, I'm glad I did this because this actually worked out so easily and it just made it's so much easier than it would for me to um, take them all out and then have to redo it. And y'all, I just want to say really quick, I do have a wardrobe <laughs> pretty much for all of my projects. I have run so many clothes working on my home and painting and just doing all of these projects. And I have decided to hold on to a few. That way I can just wear them every time I work on projects. That way I don't have to run any more clothes. So yes, my clothes have already have paint on them. I haven't even started yet. I just wanted to put that out there <laughs> because I don't normally wear these out or anything like like that it's just only when I'm doing my projects and I put them in the wash dry them and they'll be good to go for my next project so I just wanted to let you know that really quick And this is what the wall looks like all empty. Everything's off of it. I am ready to go ahead and start putting on the tape. So before I do that, I need to remove this trim really quick. Now I'm going to go ahead and start laying on the tape. So um, I just eyeball this, y'all, but you can go on Google and find out like the right measurements of bricks and make that according to the measurements. But I just eyeball it, like I said, I've done this many times. I think this is very forgiving. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially the way that I do it. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, not, it's not going to be perfect. I'm gonna have some that are off. But like I said, the way that I do it is very forgiving and you're not gonna be able to notice that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, eyeball this. And I do notice after I get done with all of this that um, there are some things that I need to fix, but I do eventually fix it because I don't want it to be too off y'all. But so that's what I'm gonna be doing here. 
And then my husband is going to actually come and help me finish putting on the rest of the lines because um, I can't do the whole wall by myself, especially when I'm doing a big section. It's just a lot easier. So definitely keep that in mind. If you are doing a large wall, you are going to need some help. So I would say definitely grab a friend or your partner, your husband, somebody to lend you a hand because they will definitely come in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish putting this these lines all over and then once we're completely done I will be back and show you the next step. I want to hear you say yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and start making the blocks. I'm just going in and putting a tape for where I feel like the brick size should be. And I'm going to do that for every other line. So every other line, I'm just going to mark off a size for the brick. As you can see, um, you can just make the bottom line and then just follow that line all the way up. And I was just having a hard time, y'all. I was just not following the lines right and it didn't come out even. So I actually had to redo the lines. But um, you just want to make sure you get it kind of even so it does look okay but like I said if they're not all the same size it is forgiving so this is what it looks like so if you can see I have done the bricks now so we have done every other line and then I'm going to go back in and put one right here one right here so what you're going to do is on the lines that you don't have anything you're just going to go ahead and put one in the middle I'll show you how to do that but we have done all the way. My husband's helping me too. So he's working on that, getting that finished. We just have this little area right here. He's already started on the lines that go up and down for um, the empty lines. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now to finish making all of those lines brick. So this is what the wall looks like with all of the brick pieces made. As you can see, it's not perfect. There are some that are a bit bigger, some are smaller, but it's okay if you do this and you want to be precise, definitely measure and um, it would be, you know, a lot better. But um, mine is very forgiving, so I really don't um, care about them being the same size. And you will see that at the end that it really doesn't matter because I do a very heavy German schmear. So it covers a lot of that up. But anyways, y'all, now I'm going to go ahead and start with the joint compound. So I'm going to just put this all over the wall. So this is just the all purpose joint compound. I get the five gallon bucket. It's like 25 bucks from Lowe's. This is such an easy budget friendly, um, makeover as well y'all it you can just transform the any room by um, doing the faux brick it's so easy I just love it so much I can't get enough of it I want to put it everywhere so I, I love this and I love the um, what is it shiplap so next I want to do shiplap 
Um, I do still plan on doing some shiplap in my dining room. That wall is supposed to be a shiplap and um, I need to do something in my son's bathroom as well and I was thinking about doing shiplap in there. So one bathroom mine will just have the uh, brick because I do have brick on that same wall. It kind of see peeping through by the <laughs> ladder on my bedroom wall. So it kind of just seems like it's just one continuous wall of brick. So in my son's bathroom, I can do shiplap because the wall that I want to do shiplap on, he already has. Sh we already have shiplap on that wall in the living room, and that will continue on. So it'll look cute. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. But I am so glad to hurry up and get done with all of these projects, y'all, because I am at the point where I'm just really done with makeovers. I don't mind like little things here and there, y'all, but these big makeovers, I think, just are so. It's too much. It's too time consuming. If you don't, if you haven't been with me that long, I did have a single wide before we bought this double wide, and that was a true fixer upper. This one is just very outdated. I'm just putting my own touches on it, but um, the other one needed a lot of work because it was hideous. So that's um, so I'm just kind of burned out. I feel like, but we are almost there. I'm almost at the point where I don't have to do any more everything's going to be completely done and I'm just trying to work at it and get it all done. There's just like a handful of things that I still want to do in here and then flooring all throughout and then we will be done with the inside Then I can just work on the outside a bit and just be renovation free y'all <laughs> because I'm really tired of it. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. I really do enjoy it but it's just it is a lot of work like all of this I did in pretty much 24 hours, if that, you know. So um, it was a lot of work. I did it in, oh, I would say 10 hours of continuous work. So it was a lot of work, y'all. But it's definitely worth it. So anyways, now we are pulling off all of the tape. So every little piece of tape that we put on this wall now has to come off. Um, and I don't know, for some reason it was sticking. I was having a hard time here and there, but just want to make sure you get it all off and now I am going to let this dry so this is gonna to have to dry until it's completely white so I had to let this dry overnight and I'm only working during like daytime because we don't have any um, light in our bathroom because my husband took it down so yeah <laughs> so I'm trying to get it all done but this is where I had to stop because we had to wait for this to dry and it took forever I should have brought my fan in and let it dry that's what I did at the end um, whenever I was done with the um, joint compound on top of everything like the very last step I brought my big fan in turn it on and it took a few hours but it was all completely dry uh, but this took overnight and in, in the morning when I woke up there were still like little spots here and there that wasn't completely dried so this is what it looks like as you can see some parts are drying where it's turning white but you can definitely see the outline of every little brick um, don't worry that some parts are brown and all of that it's all gonna look okay when it's all said and done so now I'm removing the um, this contact paper off my countertop I did have a little bit left over from my single wide and I decided to go ahead and put it on here just to try it out but I didn't care for it I was really ready to take it off right when I put it on but it this stuff was like stuck to my countertop like it took a lot for me to get this off I had my husband and my son come and help me finish taking the rest off because this stuff was no joke y'all it was tearing and it was stuck really really good so in this video y'all we did not replace the sink in the faucet only because I may be doing something different with the vanity so I have this little idea um, of something that I want to do and I don't know whether I want to 100% do it yet so if I were to replace the sink and the faucet it wouldn't go with what I'm wanting to do so I burnt it because of my hot tools <laughs> my hair tools I put it on there and burnt it and I hate the plastic sink but um, and then the faucet is just plain ugly so it's a sink so they definitely need replacing but I am going to just wait. I want to figure out exactly what I'm going to be doing before I do that. 
And now to bring a pop of teal into my bathroom, I decided to go ahead and paint this little shelf that I use for my towels teal. So I just mixed up some paint colors and I achieved a color that I like and I'm just painting away. So once it dries, I'll go ahead and distress it and just make it look all cute. Put the hardware back on and I'll have a nice teal piece in my bathroom and y'all this is just what i like to do like if there's something that i want to change this way i do it like i i've done this with a lot of things in my home um, i love to repurpose things so um if you've been here with me you know that if you're new here you will see a lot of that here if there's something that i love and i'm just not liking the color i'll change it or if i'm changing up colors and i want it a different color i'll definitely do that as well um so I really thought that this would be really cute teal. So it actually does turn out really, really pretty. I do have some wax on the way um, that's going to seal and protect it. So I'm going to be putting that on it once I get it here because I'm going to be using it on the chairs in my dining room. If you haven't seen, I just redid my dining table that I absolutely love and I use chalk paint. So whenever I use chalk paint, I like to make sure it's sealed and instead of doing the polyacrylic, I'm going in with the wax. Never tried it before, so I'm excited to give that a try. I feel like that'll be a lot easier than the polyacrylic. The polyacrylic. So yeah, y'all, I am loving the shelf so far and I think it looks really, really cute after it's all distressed and it just gives a nice pop of color and y'all one thing that I still want to add to the bathroom that I just kind of thought of right whenever I was done um, if you see in a haul where I picked up a flower it's like a metal flower from Dollar Tree it was in the plus section I want to paint that teal and I think I want to put that in my bathroom I'll show y'all here and I think that'll be really cute just to give it another pop of color I don't know whenever I redo it I'll see where it goes but I thought it would look really cute in the bathroom too <laughs> Don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation Not used to this, no I'm not Better let myself Give in to love, believe in us No matter what it does to my heart Not used to this, no I'm not It was like if we were to waste So the shelf's done, I'm gonna let that dry Now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting I'm gonna paint my door and I'm also gonna paint the um, trim here y'all it I'm tired of that brown I've been wanting it gone since I moved in but I just I don't know why but I just have not gotten there to finish this I really wanted to do something different here I really do want like a barn door there going in so I, I think that's why I haven't really touched it but I haven't done the barn door thing yet so um, I'm going to go ahead and paint it. I'm tired of looking at it. So if I do decide to do the barn door, then this will already be painted. But um, for now, the door is going to get painted too. It's just, it's just not, you know, the same color as my other door. So it was just time. And then I also have a, another smaller door in the bathroom that I'm going to be painting as well. Y'all, there are so many doors in that bathroom. So I have a bathroom that goes into like a little closet. And then there's a door... I mean, there's a door that goes into a little closet in my bathroom, and then there's also a door that goes to my closet, and then a door that goes to the bathroom. So that's just too many doors. So we did end up taking one of the doors off, the door that goes into my closet, and I put a um, curtain there. So the same thing that I did for my pantry, I ended up doing um, for the closet as well, and I think it's so cute. It just brought some more charm and some, you know, country and farmhouse style to my um home which I love you know I love little you know homey touches here and there so I like it a lot better than the door I know a lot of people probably wouldn't take their doors off just to put a curtain up but to me it just brought some more charm to my home so I'm gonna go ahead and the color that I'm using here y'all is the same color that I've painted all my doors it is the color coconut this is what I found at Walmart long ago and i've just been using this for um all of the doors so all of the doors and the trims in my home 
is the color coconut and I really like it. It's kind of similar to like an antique white, like an ivory antique white color, which is cute. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish painting this and then I'm going to go ahead and go back into the bathroom. Um, this will be tomorrow morning. We'll be back in the bathroom after everything dries because I'm going to finish up here for the night. And then bright and early in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and start on the bricks. So we're going to get the color going as we see here. So y'all, let me just say this. These paints that you see here on the countertop, great colors. I picked them up. They are from Dollar Tree, but y'all do not get these. Do not, do not get these from Walmart. Stick with the acrylic paint. And the reason why I went with these were because they were big bottles and they were in stock. Usually when I go to um, Walmart, they are out of the color that I like, but I figured out how to make it. So it really doesn't even matter because the color that I like y'all is the color chestnut and they don't ever have it in stock so I would have to just you know buy one or two or three here and there when they had them in stock so um, you know you can make your own color but with brown and red just mix it until you like the color just add more red if you wanted a little bit more redder and um, that's what I should have done that's what I kind of did here but this paint y'all it just, every time I would touch it with wet paint, even though if it was wet or not, it would smear. So this was a hot mess. And if you aren't experienced doing this, you would have probably run the whole project and just not know what to do because I was feeling like I just messed up with that paint and I almost stopped. And then I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? But I did end up fixing it because I knew what to do. But um, just stick to the acrylic paint and let it dry all the way before you start the next step. But that's what I'm going to go ahead and do, y'all. I'm just going to keep working on this and getting all of these little brick pieces painted the um, brick color. And then I will be back to show you what I do next. These moments, the light poets to me. Down here where I first started, I'm going to go in in the grout lines with my white, and I don't care if it ends up touching the um, brick itself because that's the look that I'm going for. So that's why you'll see that it's not like 100% covered because I did that on purpose. So anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and start with the white and finish this wall up because there is a lot that still needs to get done. So this is where it was all smearing as I was painting the grout lines. So what I did y'all is I just went with it. I tried my best to not get it to smear, but there's nothing that I could do. So I'm going to go ahead and just do all of the grout lines, even though they show up, you know, they have like streaks or they're pink because of the color or whatnot. I just left it as is. And y'all see Binks, he just climbed up to the window, just stuck there waiting for me to open it up and let him in. I'm like, what are you doing, cat? <laughs> so funny. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do this all throughout the wall, um, get all of the grout lines painted white even if they smear I'm gonna go ahead and do it and then just let it dry because I did end up fixing it so um, I'll show you or I'll tell you what I did after I'm completely done that way in case this happens to you you'll know how to fix it So now I'm going in with my paintbrush with very little on the brush and I'm just going over the brick to make it um, kind of like whitewash it a little bit, just a teeny tiny bit. As you can see, I went ahead and did the whole grout lines and I did go over all of the brick with my paintbrush. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting the German schmear all over the brick. Now y'all, whenever I was doing this, it did bring a lot of the red off as well, just like 
as um, it did whenever I was um, doing the grout lines. So I was really sad because you can't see it on camera, but it's, you know, just kind of made me feel so bummed because I put all of this hard work into it for it to not turn out okay. But I ended up fixing it. I'll tell you in a little bit how I fixed it. That way you kind of understand what I'm doing. Um, but anyways, y'all, so here I am. I'm going to go ahead and put on the hardware back on this shelf. It's so cute. I did go ahead and distress it. It just came out so pretty. I love the color. It's, it's so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything back, um, clean my bathroom. My bathtub needs cleaning. My toilet needs cleaning, all of that. So once I get everything put back up, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to put everything back up, and then the only thing that's going to be left is <laughs> the light fixture in the mirror because my husband's going to have to do that but I can do everything else so I'm going to go ahead and put the curtain back the blinds all of that good stuff get some decorating done I do have a new shower curtain y'all I know a lot of y'all complain about the buffalo check and I know a lot of people use the buffalo check I personally love the buffalo check so um, I decided to go ahead and bring um, it out more throughout my home so I have the um, curtain here and it is wrinkly but I'm sure once I wash and dry it it will be perfect but I'm not going to wash it um, but and I love this get naked sign y'all so cute I got that from Timu as you can see there's gray spots on the wall it's not completely dried yet um, because um, it hasn't been that long, y'all. As you can see, I have a fan just blowing, trying to get it to dry while I'm in here just getting all of these um, decor hung up. But this sweet cheek sign, y'all, or little canvas, I am going to be framing eventually. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and tack it to the wall and um, just call it good for now. But, but anyways, y'all, this is what it looked like before and um here's a picture of the light fixture in the mirror and this is what it looks like now so i absolutely love my bathroom now y'all it feels so homey so i bought a new shower curtain it is still wrinkly but eventually after i wash it um it will de-wrinkle but i repurposed a mirror I had in my home i bought a new light fixture um took that door off the closet and put a curtain there i painted the doors um it just looks so much better y'all it's so homey um, I am going to be painting the bottom cabinet ivory. I feel like it, the black is just not working in that bathroom anymore. Um, but I wanted to wait until it was all decorated to really kind of see. Look how beautiful this shelf turned out. I love it. So this little sign, hello sweet cheeks, um, will be framed eventually. But for right now, it's just going to stay as it is. Um, but everything ties in so good together. I just love, I love my bathroom. Um, yeah, I'm going to be um, loving coming in here, relaxing. But everything, I think, flows so much better now. And, you know, I was able to use some of the things in my home and just repurpose them, but only spending a little bit of money to transform this space and make it so my style and match the rest of my home I know a lot of y'all don't really care much for the buffalo check and because a lot of people use it but I absolutely love it so I am bringing a lot of buffalo check and some teal throughout my house um, but yeah y'all thank y'all so much for watching comment below let me know what you think and I will see y'all on the next one all right bye y'all <laughs>